Recrystallization is a method for purification that relies on the fact that different solid compounds are soluble in various solvents to different extents. The most important part of recrystallization is finding the right solvent. The compound should be soluble in the solvent when it is hot, but not when it is cold. That way it can be cooled down and filtered. You should not use a solvent that dissolves the compound when cold or at room temperature. If it dissolves that easily, there is not much that can be done to precipitate it out except to evaporate the solvent. That would take a long time and leave impurities behind. If it does not dissolve when hot solvent is added, it probably won't dissolve at all, so that is not a good solvent to choose. Do not use a solvent if it requires a large volume to fully dissolve. If you are requiring a liter of solvent to dissolve one gram, that is not practical and again not a good solvent. Do not use a solvent if the solid does not precipitate after cooling. If you spend a long time getting a solid to dissolve and it doesn't precipitate when you cool it down, you can't filter anything. So again, not a good solvent. Start with the cholesterol and add a little methanol in a flask. Also have a flask with more methanol heating. Heat both mixtures to a low boil. When you turn the heating plate on, make sure the cords are not on the hot plate. As the solvent heats, stir the mixture with the glass stir rod and use it to break up the chunks. When the solvent comes to a boil, slowly add the hot solvent to the cholesterol mixture. Be sure not to add too much. You want just enough to dissolve the solid. If you add too much, the amount of precipitate will be less, lowering your percent recovery. After the small amounts of solvents have been added, allow the mixture to come to a boil again and give the cholesterol a little bit of time to dissolve. If it still doesn't dissolve, add more small amounts of methanol and keep stirring. Once the mixture has dissolved, remove it from the heat and cool to room temperature. You should see crystals start to form. If they do not form, dip your stir rod into a neighbor's flask that has crystals and then dip it into your mixture. Once the mixture is cooled to room temperature, place the flask in an ice bath. An ice bath in a beaker is okay too. Also have a flask of cold methanol or other solvent cooling. Cool the mixture for 5-10 to 10 minutes in the ice bath. More crystals should form. If you go right from the heat to the ice bath, you will have tiny crystals that will be hard to collect, so make sure you cool it to room temperature before putting it in the ice bath. When you are ready to filter, grab the filter flask and the Buchner funnel. Clamp the flask into the stand so it doesn't fall over while you are filtering. Attach the black rubber hose from the vacuum to the arm of the filter flask. You will need filter paper. Wet the filter paper with your solvent once you put it in the funnel to create a seal. Turn the vacuum on and swirl the flask and pour it into the filter. Use a little bit of the cold solvent to transfer the rest of the crystals into the filter. Rinse the crystals in the filter with more cold solvent. When no more liquid drips out of the bottom, turn off the vacuum. Remove the hose. Take off the filter and admire your work. When recrystallizing an unknown, add a very small amount of the unknown to a few different test tubes. Label the tubes with the solvent so they don't get mixed up later. Add about 1 ml of solvent to the tube and stir well. If it looks like it's starting to dissolve, keep stirring it and it may continue to dissolve. Don't make the mistake of adding a solvent and doing nothing else and then getting a false result. Make sure you try all the solvents listed. If you add a solvent, in this case water, and it doesn't dissolve after a lot of agitation, this is a good solvent candidate and should go on to the next step. Heat up deionized water in a beaker. 
You will only need enough water to cover the liquid in the tube. If you fill a beaker up all the way, you will spend that much more time heating water. If you are testing solvents other than water, also heat some of those solvents in tubes as well that are separate. As the tube and water heat, stir with a glass stir rod or agitate the solid. Bring the mixture to a boil and add slowly to get it to dissolve. Remember, you want the minimal amount of solvent. Let the mixture come to a boil. Hopefully, you will have one that fully dissolves as this one did. Cool the tube or tubes to room temperature and wait for crystals to grow. If a precipitate forms, use this solvent and recrystallize your unknown on a large scale. Do not use a solvent that doesn't result in a precipitate. And remember to have fun.